Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 238 of the 365 day trivia road trip today, we have a pit stop quiz. The pit stop quizzes are like lightning rounds. The questions are shorter. The answers come faster. The name of the game on the weekend is speed. We're in, we're out. We're back on the road on Monday. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. It weighs barely .07 ounces with a body about 1.5 to 2 inches long. The American pygmy version of what animal is North America's smallest mammal? It is the American pygmy shrew. Shrew is the answer. Question number two, George Washington and the Colonial Army endured the terrible winter of 1777 at what encampment in eastern Pennsylvania? The answer is Valley Forge. Question number three, what is the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that still exists today? The answer is the pyramids, specifically the ones at Giza. Question number four, what landlocked sovereign city-state within the city of Rome is the world's smallest country both in terms of area and population. The answer is the Vatican City. Question number five, what is the nickname of the United States Permanent Resident Card? an identification document that grants non-U.S. citizens some of the rights of citizens. That is known as the green card. Question number six, also known as a pilot house or wheelhouse, What is the nautical name for the part of a ship above the main deck from which the crew navigates and steers the vessel? That is called the bridge. Question number seven. On an alphabetical list, Which of the countries liberated by Simon Bolivar appears first? I believe Venezuela is last and Bolivia is first. Question number eight. Unaltered preservation, petrification, replacement, Carbonization and recrystallization are ways that once living organisms are turned into what? That's how they are turned into fossils. Question number nine. What is the first book in the series of novels with these other titles? Anne of Avon Leah? Anne of the Island, Anne of Windy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, and Anne of Ingleside. The book we're looking for is Anne of Green Gables. Question number 10. In 1751, Dr. William Watson presented what American colonist's first scientific publication describing early experiments with electricity to the Royal Society in London. The answer is Benjamin Franklin. Question number 11. The U.S. Civil War ended when Robert E. Lee and Ulysses Grant 
met at a courthouse in what Virginia town? The answer is Appomattox. Question number 12. What is the term for the geographic feature that once connected North America and Asia? The answer is a land bridge. Specifically, it was the Bering Land Bridge. Question number 13. An African variety of what kind of snake sprays its venom in a jet-like stream towards the eyes of its victims? The answer is the cobra. Question number 14 in the human body. What is the name of the joint at the junction of the humerus, radius, and ulna? That would be the elbow. Question 15. Most airships, also called dirigibles, have an internal structural framework or a keel. What is the name for a non-rigid type of this buoyant airship? The non-rigid type is just called a blimp. Question 16, Edwin Porter, the director of The Great Train Robbery, usually cited as the first motion picture, was a former cameraman and employee of what American inventor? Edwin Porter used to work for Thomas Edison. Question 17. The Shuddering Wood, the Stormness Head, the Fords of Baruna, Deathwater Island, and the Flaming Mountain of Lagur are all located in what fictional land? Those are all spots in Narnia. Question number 18. What is the color of the helmets that are worn by the peacekeeping forces of the United Nations? The answer is blue. Question number 19. What Dixie outlaw became so romanticized through legends and stories that even Theodore Roosevelt once described him as America's Robin Hood? This Dixie outlaw was Jesse James. And question 20. What is the general name for those kinds of ants that, in huge numbers, are regularly on the move, have no permanent nests, and aggressively forage in massive raids? The ants we're looking for are army ants. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Make sure you check back tomorrow. We have one more pit stop quiz before we're back on the road Monday with full-length trivia. If you would like to enter the Quizlet Challenge to win one of the road trip kits filled with Road Trivia swag, make sure you check out the post on YouTube's community page uh, for this channel or on Facebook. Make sure you read the guidelines. Make sure you follow the rules. The questions have to be a certain length for them to be accepted. There's a couple other guidelines. Check that out and then send me two quizzes and I'll send you a free road trip kit. These things are awesome. 
Question number 21, the tiebreaker for today. In 1837, membership on the U.S. Supreme Court was increased from seven justices to how many justices? In 1837, there were seven, and then it got changed, and now there are nine. Whichever player got closest to that answer, or hit it right on the head, is going to win the point. If it was a tiebreaker, the person who won the point just won the whole game. Congratulations. See you tomorrow.